Hi, I'm Tom Altman. We're going to be building a magnetic rail gun today. Kind of interesting way of using magnetic energy to accelerate a little ball. The kit that I, uh, I've put together, relatively uh, simple, consists of a couple of uh, column magnets. There's the magnet itself. Pretty easy and straightforward, relatively uh, common. Go to any site that sells magnets and you'll find something like that. And then ball bearings. Ball bearings, as it turns out, are going to be a little bit harder to find because uh, apparently ball bearings are also used in, uh, in improvised explosive devices. And so uh, buying a ball bearing is a little bit more difficult. Um, I'll try to find some information that will let you find uh, enough materials to build yourself a little railgun. And uh, the railgun works pretty simple. Two ball bearings are attached to a magnet. Obviously, the one closest to the magnet is attached with more energy than the one further away. You set up a couple of them like this. And what will happen is this. One ball will be accelerated. As it gets closer to this magnet, it comes in with a greater velocity. It transfers that kinetic energy to this one. The first uh, ball bearing uh, transfers the kinetic energy through to the second one, which leaves with a little bit more a kinetic energy. It then hits the next one and repeats itself and launches. Relatively straightforward. What we want to do is come up with a way to uh, secure these magnets in place. And an ideal way is just to uh, uh, position it using the steel balls and then drop in some hot glue. Wrap some hot glue around it. Having at least two of these uh, is useful. Now, whether or not you set it up so that they repel or so that they attract is, is one of the ways you can experiment with variations. The distance between them also a way of experimenting. Once the hot glue cools, you can pop off your ball bearings. Two on one side, two on the other side. And then you launch from this side. It gets accelerated in, transfers the energy, and shoots it off the end. Obviously, you could put more in the line. And uh, now uh, you reach a certain uh, maximum level by having them close together further apart. There's some other things that you can uh, do, but uh, getting them to go faster and faster, there's a certain maximum amount of energy it'll transfer and uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't scale up beyond a certain point. Oh, here's another point. Uh, sometimes the ruler has a little uh, indentation with it, and uh, so you have to be careful that you... Uh... We got some of these where the hole in the center was so big that when the uh, ball actually went through it, it would uh, pause and be deflected by it a little bit, so we had to sand those smooth. Be reset every time. And you can start from any end. Hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.